So many cancer survivors make this mistake. I'm Dr. Amy and in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to prevent chemo side effects with your food. Chemo does not need to be how it is depicted in movies or on TV. You do not need to be nauseous and vomiting all the time. Exhausted to the point where you can't get out of bed, feeling like a stranger in your own body. If any of this sounds familiar, this video is for you. Let's dive into some simple and practical ways that you can use your food to prevent chemo side effects, starting with exhaustion. Exhaustion is the number one side effect. Most cancer survivors experience exhaustion during or after their cancer treatment. Although other side effects certainly do happen, exhaustion is the most common. About 95% of people diagnosed with cancer experience some kind of exhaustion. So if you're feeling like this, you are so not alone. Here's what you can do starting today. Exhaustion is directly tied to your diet. You can completely completely get rid of exhaustion through your diet alone. Here's where to start. Focus on eating more protein. Here's why protein is so critical to alleviate exhaustion during and after cancer treatment. When you receive treatments for cancer, your treatment is rather nonspecific. That means that the treatment you receive, it mostly attacks cancer cells, but it also attacks healthy cells. And that's the problem. It's healthy cells that are trying to recover and rejuvenate well, they're the ones that need support. They need the right fuel in order to do that. And the fuel comes from your food. Now treatments are developing and innovating to become more specific to cancer cells. But of course, you know that this is not perfect, at least not yet. To help your healthy cells recover fast, they need protein. Protein is made up of amino acids and it's these amino acids that are gonna help your healthy cells recover and repair quickly. Without the right amount or right types of amino acids, without a doubt, your recovery is being delayed. And this delay in your recovery, it presents as exhaustion. So here's where I want you to start today. Focus on eating more protein at every single meal. I want you to aim for at least 30 grams of protein per meal. That's 30 grams three times a day, breakfast, lunch, and supper. Now, you might be a little lost on how to practically get 30 grams of protein. So let me give you a little guidance on what this looks like. 30 grams of protein is eating an average size chicken breast. That would be about three and a half ounces. Or it's eating four and a half ounces of cooked salmon. Or a cup of non-fat Greek yogurt. Or 30 grams is eating five eggs. Start with some of these strategies. So if you really want to get rid of your exhaustion, then you need to be consuming protein individualized to your body. Hey, Dr. Amy here. Want to interrupt this video to give you a little bit of cancer recovery and remission advice. If you really want to fully and completely recover from cancer, really close the door on cancer for good, well, then you have to get a plan in place. Okay. That's why I'm linking up below the 30 day anti-cancer plan. Now this is a step-by-step -step guide of exactly what you need to do with your food, your exercise, your mindset for the next 30 days. This is a brilliant place to start and you can get started instantly today. Click the link below. Most cancer survivors are not eating enough protein and look, it's not your fault. When you're not feeling well and your appetite's affected, you don't want to eat protein, but if you want your energy back or you want to avoid exhaustion, then this is definitely worth the effort. It will make a big difference. Okay, but on to the next chemo side effect that you can avoid with your food, nausea. This is likely the most dreaded chemo side effect. All cancer survivors are worried about being nauseous and vomiting into a toilet. The good news is that nausea, it's fairly well managed among cancer survivors. How it's depicted on TV or in the movies, it doesn't really happen all that much anymore. But if you are struggling with nausea and vomiting, well then this needs to be addressed ASAP. You should not be nauseated and the good news is that we can fix it. Here's where to start. To minimize the symptoms of nausea, we want to be strategic about how you prepare your food. It's best if you can eat your food cold or at room temperature. This is helpful for nausea because it's going to minimize the smell or the scent of your food. And sometimes the odor of cooked food well, that can trigger nausea. Now, if you wanna cook your food because you really wanna eat something warm, I totally understand. Then I would suggest preparing it outside of your house, like on a barbecue, 
or ordering takeout in from a restaurant. This is gonna keep the scent outside of your house. Now, if these aren't realistic options for you, then the next best thing is to prepare your food under a really well-ventilated oven hood. This is gonna remove the odor of cooked food from your house as quickly as possible. Minimizing that scent will minimize your nausea. Okay, but on to the next chemo side effect that you can avoid with your food, and this is a big one because it's gonna impact the success of your treatment. Low blood counts. Now you know that your treatment will be delayed if your blood cell count is low. This directly influences the success of your treatment. If you aren't able to receive treatment, then it can't work. So we wanna support your body so that it's able to recover between treatments, keep your blood cells up, and so that you can continue on with your treatment as planned. Now your body needs certain vitamins and nutrients to create blood cells. More specifically, your body needs vitamin B12 and folate. You really wanna focus on eating foods that have these vitamins to make sure your blood cells stay up. Now food that contains vitamin B12 and folate is largely gonna be animal-based. These are things like fish, poultry, dairy, beef, or eggs. Now, understandably, you may not eat animal products. So if you don't eat animal products, but you still wanna increase your blood count, what do you do? You can focus on eating foods that are fortified with vitamin B12 and folate. Or you can include foods that are plant-based, but also have these vitamins. Things like nutritional yeast. This is known for being high in vitamin B12. Nutritional yeast is actually a great food for people who have been diagnosed with cancer. It's high in protein, it has the right vitamins, it has the right minerals. And you can sprinkle it on top of anything. You can put it on top of a salad or on top of popcorn. It really just tastes like Parmesan cheese. It's incredibly underutilized, especially by cancer survivors. That's a great option to start right away. I'll put a link below to direct you to nutritional yeast so you can get started today. Okay, but next up is insomnia. Insomnia is something that so many cancer survivors struggle with, especially during cancer treatment. Now, understandably, not being able to sleep is multifactorial. There are a lot of things at play here. You're likely anxious about your treatment. Like, is this going to work? Is my cancer going to come back? And all of these things can cause you to lay awake at night thinking. Cancer treatment is known to cause hormonal imbalances, and this can lead to hot flashes in the middle of the night that can wake you up in a sweat. But here are some things that you can control in terms of insomnia, and that's your food. The first thing is that you want to ensure that you don't eat a large amount of protein right before bed. Sometimes the digestion of protein can cause insomnia. Now, I don't mean that you have to completely cut out protein from your supper. Not at all, but if you're having a large bedtime snack that's high in protein, then you might wanna revisit this. Like something like a yogurt parfait. That might influence your sleep at night. Another thing to consider is to eat your largest meal of the day at lunchtime. This will move the bulk of your calories to earlier in the day and away from bedtime. And hopefully this will alleviate any sleep disturbances. Okay, so now that you know what foods to eat, to prevent chemo side effects, the next thing you need to know are my chemo secrets. That's why I'm linking up this next video for you here. Click here, you are not gonna wanna miss this.